Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today what we are going to dis be discussing about is my PSM checklist for FMG. So let's get right started to it. So community medicine, uh, basically we were discussing in the previous videos was the clinical checklist or clinical cases checklist. But in PSM, you don't get as per se clinical questions. Everything is mixed it up. So you can't exactly say what clinical questions will come. So let's just discuss about what are the most important topics. And because community medicine is a huge, huge subject and covering up covering it up from cover to cover like from starting to the end is um, something what we all find very difficult so i think we need to be smart about it and we have to declutter it and uh, study the most important things first and remember them first and then if we have the time or uh, energy to spend on it then we can do the other subjects which are less high yield so yes let's get started with the most high yield topics so in the end of the video i would be sharing my handwritten list what i used uh, I, I i couldn't find it before but i just found it a few days back so i would be um, sharing that with you how i used it and this video what i'm making is an updated version of that because some topics i think i missed because of which i lost some score i guess and which i don't want you to lose so i have been uh, um, researching about it and seeing the questions and the other things and i have added a few questions um, and few topics among my list so this is an updated version of it so the subsections i have divided this video into is biostats nutrition biochemical waste environment um, national programs infection epidemiology and some additional topics which don't exactly fall in the above mentioned so i have just added it into in the end so what you have to do in biostats is uh, i think biostat is some um, is a subject which we all feel worried about especially me we we don't like maths and stuff so it's a little bit tricky but you you can avoid the math question the s maximum one question will come to calculate or stuff or may not even come that one question so at least if you're good in theory at least know your theory well so if the mathematical question doesn't come so at least you'll be done with your theory part and you can still score good so chi-square pair t test sampling types in which mean median mode standard deviation standard errors in screening test in series and parallel type of screening test is important and bias confounding and effect types of bias confounding and its effect is really important so nutrition while we read nutrition nutrition actually is uh, kind of important if you see it as such because uh, it kind of overlaps from medicine and biochemistry and other stuff too but what you have to basically focus in while studying PSM about nutrition is RDA dietary recommendation, protein quality indicators, vitamin A xerophthalmia and the stages of xerophthalmia in which they have always asked this common question of bitot spot staging which is uh, 1b and you should remember other staging too because they have asked bitots many times so they might ask the other staging so it can be a potential question so just remember all of it then iodine goitrogens and the national program for it then the cow milk the human breast milk comparison is very important they have asked like uh, i think every year they ask one question from this part there is a must question because this this topic also uh, comes under pediatrics you can say breast milk uh, specifications so they have asked it many times you should you should always like um, focus on it and then check for the pasteurization like there are tests by which you can check the pasteurization level and how it's if it's okay or not so that is also a potential question and food related diseases are important as well this is kind of the clinical question you can get they can convert it into a clinical question and give you from this part as well so uh, neurolithyrism endemic dropsy aflatoxicosis and ergotism are four more important um, thing but there are a few others which are not so much important so i didn't include them but these four you must know 
biomedical waste and disaster management is an high yield topic of course one question usually one to two question usually falls under this category and with the ongoing covid uh, pandemic and everything biomedical waste has become a really high yield topic so you have to know about the red yellow blue white category and their examples are important you cannot mess up the examples you will read them and revise them properly then incineration and inertization is a topic are two topics actually which the examiner likes to confuse you because um it's kind of sound similar i guess and then the triage i think we all know the triage but the reverse triage is kind of a potential question these days uh, if they ask they can ask you reverse triage so go check it out and do read the reverse triage strategy chlorination process and disinfection methods are as important as anything else because um they are key to the uh, waste management and the things like that so the next is environment in environment there are a lot of things but what i would want to uh, focus on is these two things because i i just studied these two things and i think it's enough if you know these two topics that's enough because there are a lot of things in environment um topic of psm so just go for mosquito control methods because malaria dengue and these things are uh, mosquito borne like vector borne diseases so you have to have an idea about mosquito control methods in india and test for various types of pollution like what test you would do to test the pollution uh, what kind of pollution so just go and flip through your book or flip through your notes you'll find it easily and just read it occupational lung diseases are important in everything like we also discussed in in pathology we are discussing in psm and if we are going to go to the pulmonology part of medicine these things will fall back again so you cannot miss these two things which overlap you you cannot just afford to miss these things so please please focus on these things these are the most important ones you these, these will be like easy marks and if you don't read them once and you go to the exam and they come and you lose mark then it will be very disheartening so just read them out national programs there are a lot of national programs many are there and they are long <laughs> i had a hard time reading national programs in the beginning because um, i don't know i felt very monotonous reading them but since they are important so i have listed mainly the important ones which the frequently asked questions are there and which are really important while you practice in um in a government facility as well so whatever you find helpful in while you practice in a government facility they the question uh, the examiner is going to ask is most probably going to be from that portion so tb is a very very important topic for psm medicine especially community health in india so ntep you cannot miss to afford like you you it would be foolish of you if you do not read ntep and go and nlep comes along with it because mycoplasma is causing it so go for the leprosy as well aids is very important very very important as tb aids hiv is uh, correlated everywhere like you would be seeing it in medicine surgery and things like that wherever the patient management things are going on the aids is considered so you have to read the guideline for it plus the blindness and uh, blindness and visual impaired uh guideline is also there there are some add ons which they asked last time as well in exam so in, in exam of december 2020 so please go through it and icds child development is important as well infections are uh, i think infection is a huge topic too but many things collide with microbiology medicine and some topics of surgery even gynecology and things like that so what i would want you to remember um, like go through properly while reading psm in infections will be your influenza polio yeah, polio is is a really important topic for uh, while you read uh, while you read your psm subject and je basically all six diseases under um, national vector borne diseases control program which is malaria dengue japanese encephalitis chikungunya filariasis and kalaza these these are must must know so don't miss on that additionals are what i have like there were um, topics and subject uh, like there were sub chapters i didn't want to uh, put it into sub chapters because then it would be a really long long ppt and i don't want to do that i don't want to waste your time in that so i just i have just added in an additionals where you can see you you just have to go through the, these three these things and just make a note of these things and revise them two or three times before you go for exam they have like high potential 
topics most of the questions will come from these topics only so pqli versus hdi they love to ask about it either they last one year pqli then other the another year features of hdi and something like that epidemiological triad and triangle they like to confuse you among those things so get those sorted examples of types of prevention one question minimum every year every year like this is the most important thing in psm then sullivan and qualley secondary attack rate i i am so sure you must have read secondary attack rate and heard that it's important and things like that isolation and quarantine isolation versus quarantine they would want to trick you between these two because of the ongoing pandemic so please be conceptual about it don't mug up don't just mug up understand because they might the simpler questions they might twist a little bit and ors composition is important and covid-19 whatever you get to read on covid-19 the updates not the recent ones of course but what's been going on for a year the donning and doffing process and what vaccines are there and the rt pcr testing methods and things like that you have to go through those now in epidemiology what you have to read is rate ratio and proportion examples you have to be clear what the examples are like examples the example given is either a rate a ratio or proportion so for which you have to have a conceptual um uh understanding of it and epidemiological methods such as case study versus case series versus case control versus cohort study so what you do what you can do for this thing is you can make a table and you can have like four columns and you can go through each in one column so that it's easy that's how i did it so i would recommend mm, you doing that because uh, it's kind of confusing and it's kind of when you make it into a table it gets little easier so i would suggest if you do if you can do that you do that but um, if you find uh, any other way uh, better then do let me know as well and uh, go for it go for it go for it whatever you like is whatever you feel like is best for you the next is interpretation of odds ratio like odds ratio interpretation more than one less than one equal to one what it means is important types of bias is important and blinding types how you treat bias is by blinding and the blinding types is important as well next extra important topic is vaccination schedule you cannot miss this vaccination is important you have to read vaccination i know how hard it is sometimes the um, things which we have to remember they get like huge but uh, what can we do we have to remember the mission indradhanush is important as well demography you have to read demography for even the pie charts and everything and the ratios and the terminologies demography go through demography properly because demography will make a lot of base for you to understand the further epidemiology and other things and all the logos of course for the image based question you have to go for the logos so yeah that's it and as i promised i would uh, share what i wrote while i was preparing for fmg so these are the topics i wrote that i should read but i find like these were too much and i had no idea like which one to focus on more and it it my notes became like a thick copy and it was hard to revise and everything and retain everything and i felt like i couldn't remember everything so i have to have an idea what is more important and what i shouldn't forget absolutely absolutely not forgetting that one so i declared it and used i i used the same way i told you guys in my first video on this channel that how to make an important topic list so i uh, chose the topics from frequently asked questions previous year questions and i declared it and came to this one which is kind of similar to what i gave you now in the beginning but uh, some things are i i uh, like removed some of the same things and i added some of the things because some things are missing and maybe that's why i lost some of my marks in community medicine but you shouldn't so i even the updated version this is what i use in my time so yeah that in the next video we will be talking about 80 20 principle i used to study huge subjects because uh, to be very honest i didn't finish the whole subject the medicine i didn't finish whole medicine i didn't finish whole gynecology i did not finish whole surgery and i did not finish Oh, uh, what you say, PSM completely. So I use this eighty twenty principle. We would be um, talking about this. What is this eighty twenty principle, and how you can use it in your studying method? If you have any specific questions? You can go on my Instagram handle, which is Shania nineteen, and um, we uh, we are not a big community. We are just seven hundred plus people around here. A small, sweet community of uh, foreign medical graduates is here. 
but um, I try to post the important pictures and important things what I feel is important for FMG students and recently I have started posting the flashcard kind of things by which you can just look and flip through and revise before your exams or whenever you have time or you feel free and you want to freshen up a little bit and you see what's going on so whatever I feel is important and you must know I'm posting it here because on YouTube uh, it takes too much of time and um, it's not that convenient to post everything I feel important on YouTube so if you want you can uh, follow the page and uh, I would be posting here regularly whatever I feel is important so thank you so much for being here with me uh, for another video I hope you find something useful in it please um, like comment and subscribe and if you have any suggestions or any ideas for me to follow on uh, please do comment or text me on my Instagram handle and I believe if you think you can then you can we can and we will be we are in the same mess together and we'll get out of it in a good way thank you so much